Hey YouTube, Mark here with uh, another fragrance review. Uh, this time on uh, Calvin Klein fragrance. Um, I actually own quite a bit of Calvin Klein fragrances. The uh, reason why is because when I was uh, younger I loved Calvin Klein fragrances. So I uh, tend to give this house uh, a lot more chances than any other house. So this is uh, one of their latest offerings. It's called uh, Calvin Klein Man. Um, if you haven't seen this bottle, um, that's what she looks like. A little more mature than um, their latest offerings, I would say. It's uh, actually a really nice fragrance, but the bottle itself is actually um, well done. It's uh, a nice presentation. And the box itself, a uh, fairly simple black box here. As you can see, there's the barcode. Uh, nothing major here, so. There you go, guys. Calvin Klein Man. Comes in two bottle sizes, 1.7 ounce and the standard 3.4 ounce. Um, for 1.7, you'd be looking at almost uh, 35 to 50 dollars, and this one you'd be looking at 40 to almost 70 dollars American. So um, they're not the the cheapest fragrances on the market. I hit the shelves in 2007, um, so it's actually a fairly new fragrance uh, for Calvin Klein. Um, I would group it more in a woody. Uh, spicy fragrance, uh, the Perfumies and Gottlieb, um, and made uh, notably for Calvin Klein CKB, uh, one of my Calvin Klein favorites, and uh, 212 for men, so uh, another one of my favorites. Uh, the scent strength on this one is moderate, so you will get uh, a scent trail, uh, but nothing, um, not too potent. So it, it will, uh, it will project, but not not as much as you'd like. Um, the scent life on this one is actually quite good. Uh, I was actually impressed with the scent life on this one. I, I was getting uh, six to seven hours with this one. So um, it definitely does uh, uh, give me around six to seven, which is uh, fairly good for a fragrance. And what I do when I spray this one, um, I spray this one a little more than my uh, recent uh, reviews. Um, what I do is um, I do two on the neck and then two on my uh, pulse points or sometimes I just do uh, one on the neck, one on the back of my neck and then two here. Um, so this one you can be a little more gracious with the sprayer than uh, let's say my, li my latest offerings like B-Men and uh, so you can definitely spray a few more on this one and you'll get a uh, good six, seven hours out of this one. A recommended age, they say it's more for a mature man but Calvin Klein, you know, you can't go wrong. Uh, you know, a 12 year old can wear this uh, right up to a 75 year old and they can basically pull it off. So, uh, Calvin Klein are known for more of a versatile fragrance and they definitely are, and this one is no exception. Um, it is still in production. Um, now, onto the notes. It actually starts off with the fresh ro wave of uh, rosemary and uh, we got some citruses in here. We got some bergamot, some mandarin orange and it's combined with uh, an airy note of uh, violet leaves. Um, the heart is made of uh, bay leaf, nutmeg, mint, incense, and peppermint. So you do get a little bit of that spice in that wood, but I get more of the, the wood than uh, anything else in here. And the base um, gives you some, uh, some intense notes, really. Uh, some cypress, um, some sandalwood, the amber, and the musk. So those are um, basically, with newer fragrances, you're going to see the musk, the amber, the sandalwood. You're going to see those notes, so it's nothing really uh, out of this world for the uh, the base. Now, this fragrance actually gives me really a, a warm woodiness to it. It's a really a comforting fragrance. Um, the opening is, is really nice. I, I would say more of a crisp, uh, crisp spray, I might say. Um, so a lot of people probably bought this because of the opening. It's a really nice opening. So if you go to the store, they spray it on a card for you. You spray it on your skin, and you're an impulse buyer that um, you say, wow, this is really nice, and you don't wait for it to dry down. A lot of people, I presume, bought this because of the great opening on it. The only thing is the dry down might spoil it for you. Um, if you're looking for something different, yeah, the opening's great. But the dry down is the same old, same old. Um, so a lot of people might have been, you know, really not happy with this purchase, especially um, not waiting till the dry down and see what this fragrance gives you. Um, now, 
what this fragrance reminds me of is uh, I actually wore it today. I just wanted to give it one last sampling and wore it today. It's not fairly cold here, so um, I have it. It reminds me, um, you know, when you go camping. Uh, you're in the forest, especially in Canada. Uh, a lot of you will probably know what the, what I'm talking about here. And you go camping, and it's one of those rainy mornings. You know, it rained at night, and it stopped raining, and you get out. It just stopped raining, and get out. And that's what this smells like. It's like a, a forest that just got rained on, drenched on, and it stopped. And then you just get all the woody, the green green notes coming out this is what this is the definitely the opening and the heart that's what I get I definitely get that on this um, so it's it's I would say it's a really a mainstream fragrance Calvin Klein was you know they're trying to, to make sales basically with this one it's nothing really original but it's it's a uh, it's a one of the better Calvin Klein fragrances on the market right now um, we all know about the the earlier 90s fragrances from Calvin Klein that's where they got their name they, their name from in the fragrance game but uh, their latest offerings in the 2000s haven't been you know spectacular you don't see any four stars five star fragrances um, this I would say is the best offering latest offering from Calvin Klein for men um, this definitely beats out CK into you uh, definitely does so Check this one out if you're a fan of Calvin Klein. Um, it's, a, it's a light fragrance, but it's a very nice fragrance. So this one, style, I would say more of a, you, you got that modern vibe, romantic, uh, casual, uh, occasion. It's a versatile fragrance. So you can wear it to work, you can wear it to school. It's not offensive. It's a very versatile fragrance. You can wear it during the day, and uh, coming home at night, you got a hot date. You can wear this in the evening, no problem. Uh, season. Um, as versatile as this is, I'm going to pinpoint this as an all season. Yeah, you know what? Maybe it's more of a spring fall fragrance, but you know what? You can definitely pull this off in the summer. I can see someone wearing this in the summer because it is a light fragrance. Uh, maybe not so in the winter, but you can still wear it. If this is your only fragrance, you can definitely wear this. If you have an office job, you're not going to be outside that much. Why not wear this in the, in the winter? No problem there. So guys, I, I of course have a, a new thing that I do with fragrances. What I'm trying to do is to say, hey, if you own these fragrances, you might like this one. So um, I, I pinpointed two fragrances that might be uh, something that you might like this. Um, the two fragrances are Marc Jacobs for men. Um, so if you own that, you just might like this. And 212, of course, for men by Carolina Herrera. Um, of course, Anne made 212 for men, so it's kind of in the same vibe. So guys, all in all, Calvin Klein men, I'm going to give this one three stars out of five. Um, it's definitely a solid offering by Calvin Klein, but nothing groundbreaking yet. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. This is another fragrance review by Mark, and I'll be back with another one.